Today, we are going to learn about Q-Learning, a powerful and popular reinforcement learning algorithm that can help machines learn from their own experiences and achieve their goals. What is Q-Learning? Q-Learning is a specific type of reinforcement learning algorithm that does not need a model of the environment, meaning that it does not need to know the rules or the outcomes of each action beforehand. Instead, it learns from its own experience by keeping track of the value of each action in each state. Uh, the value of an action, also called the Q value, is an estimate of how good it is to take that action in that state based on the expected future reward. For example, uh, if a robot is trying to navigate a maze, it can receive a positive reward for reaching the exit, a negative reward for hitting a wall, and no reward for moving around. By trial and error, the robot can learn which actions lead to the highest total reward over time. How does it work? Q learning works by using a simple but powerful formula called the Bellman equation to update the Q values based on the agent's experience. Here, alpha is the learning rate, which controls how much the Q value is updated based on the new information. Gamma is the discount factor, which controls how much the future reward is taken into account. Max X state Alex auctions is the maximum Q value for the next state, which represents the best possible future reward. Uh, the Q learning algorithm works as follows. Uh, initialize all key values to zero or some random value, um, you know, convergence or a maximum number of iterations. Choose an action based on the current state and the Q values using some exploration strategy such as epsilon greedy, which means choosing a random action with a small probability and choosing the best action otherwise. Execute the action and observe the next state and the reward. Update the Q value for the state and the action using the Bellman equation. Set the current state to the next state. By doing this, the Q values will gradually converge to the optimal values and the agent will learn the optimal policy. What are the benefits of Q learning? First, Q learning is a general and flexible algorithm that can be applied to a wide range of problems such as games, robotics, control, navigation, etc. Q learning can handle complex and dynamic environments where the state and the action spaces are large and the transitions are uncertain. Uh, second, Q learning is a model free algorithm, uh, meaning that it does not need to know the model of the environment beforehand. This makes Q learning more robust and adaptable to changing situations where the model may be inaccurate or incomplete. Third, Q learning is an online algorithm, meaning that it can learn and improve while interacting with the environment. This makes Q learning more efficient and scalable as it does not need to store or process a large amount of data offline. What are the limitations of Q learning? First, Q learning can be slow to converge, especially when the state and the action spaces are large and the rewards are sparse. Um, this is because Q learning has to explore a lot of states and actions before finding the optimal ones, and it may take a long time to receive a meaningful reward. A second, Q learning can be affected by the curse of dimensionality, which means that the computational complexity and the memory requirements increase exponentially with the number of dimensions. This can make Q learning impractical for some problems where the state and the action spaces are very high dimensional. Third, Q learning can suffer from overestimation bias, which means that the Q values can be inflated due to the max operator in the Bellman equation. This can lead to suboptimal policies and poor performance in comparison with other algorithms. There are a number of other reinforcement learning algorithms available, such as Sarsa, Monte Carlo, and Deep Q networks. Q learning is compared to these algorithms. The article suggests that Q learning is more efficient and robust than Sarsa, but it is more prone to overestimation bias. Q learning is also compared to Monte Carlo, uh, and the article suggests that Q learning is more suitable for problems with large and continuous state spaces, but it is less accurate and more sensitive to the choice of parameter. Q learning is also compared to deep Q networks, and the article suggests that Q learning is simpler and easier to implement, but it is less powerful and scalable. Q learning is a very useful and popular reinforcement enforcement learning algorithm. It has the ability to learn from its own experience and achieve its goals in complex and dynamic environments. Q learning is also a general and flexible algorithm that can be applied to a wide range of problems. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you learned something new and interesting about Q learning. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on technology and artificial intelligence.